Oh, good morning, everybody. This is Miss Graves. This is going to be your e-learning for the day. On the left-hand side, you have a list of claims. You see number three? You're not gonna do number three. Maybe you'll notice why after a bit. When you flip the paper over, um, on the back side, you do have the rest of number six here, and then you've got number seven there. We're gonna do number one and number seven together. And don't worry about this. I started to think of something else and decided I don't want you to mess with that. So let's go back to number one and read it together and talk about what we're gonna do. This is a claim, and then we're gonna come up with a counterclaim or our opposing claim. What is our opponent going to say to this, okay? It says, within the past year, drones, you know those little flying machines that people operate with a remote control, have caused chaos in America, making many politicians believe that they should be banned. So they're talking about getting rid of drones because they are dangerous for pilots, that's their first reason, in the air and can injure civilians on the ground. That's their second concern. In this counterclaim, we're gonna argue we shouldn't ban drones, but we have to address these two concerns in what we're going to say. So, here we go. Some say, this is the phrase we're using to introduce the counterclaim. Some say, and then the, the opposite. So, if they're concerned about pilots in the air, we need to think about how high up um, commercial airplanes fly. I highly doubt that the drones that, that Joe Schmo, you and I would be using and messing with, they probably aren't gonna go up that high so they pose a danger to an airplane. So I'm gonna say that. Some say banning drones is unnecessary because they don't fly high enough to pose a threat for planes. That's a good start, but I haven't addressed the whole fact that they think that they can injure civilians on the ground. And I, I kind of think any object can injure somebody. Um, a hula hoop could injure somebody. Um, skipping rocks at the lake could injure somebody. So there's some aspect of danger to anything if it's misused. So some say banning drones is unnecessary because they don't fly high enough to pose a threat for planes. And I'm wondering if I can add another sentence here that also addresses this feature. Maybe something like, oh, I don't know. Most drones are, hmm, what could I fill in there? I don't know. Let's see if you can come up with something to kind of help me out, okay? Now, let's go to the back side and let's do number seven. Number seven is talking about single sex education. What they mean is separating and having all classes for boys and all classes for girls. That's what they wanna do. Single sex education has benefits for both boys and girls because it eliminates distractions and focuses on best practices for teaching that specific gender. Well, let's think about that for a minute. In class, most people talked about how maybe talking would increase by having only boys and only girls. But my thoughts are that in the real world, they don't separate things for men and women. You don't have a separate grocery line for men and a separate grocery line for women. So let's try to use that logic to come up with an answer over here. Some say that if we separate boys and girls in school, we will not prepare them for the real world because the real world does not separate men and women. Maybe something like that. Now that I've given you that idea, try to write it down in one fluid sentence here for number seven. All right, folks, so you are going to do on your own number two, number four, number five, and number six. And don't forget, you do have a bell work page to pay attention to today. You don't have to upload it, but you do need to have um, the days complete for when we show up and I see you in class next. Have a great one. Bye.